If you're a man, can you make that light light up twice? This train depot, located in Globe, Arizona, opened for business in 1916. Both freight and passengers traveled through this depot until 1954. The building was converted to a Greyhound bus station, a Red Cross office, and most recently, a laundromat. The historic Globe Main Street program renovated the depot into what you see today. A few suicides have occurred on the rails just outside the building. All right, we're gonna start off tonight's investigation. We'll just do a classic EVP session with the recorder. Uh, earlier on the EMF sweep, we did catch some spikes here and there, but we're just gonna start off right in the middle of the depot itself. Just sit down and uh, just do a silent EVP session, see if we catch anything. Not sure what that noise was. Sounded like that was coming to the right. It sounded like a tap. Did you used to work at this uh, train depot? Street lights just went out. That was a street light? Yeah. Can you tell us your name? That was not me. Did you hear something upstairs? Something move, yeah. I don't know if it was upstairs, it just felt like it was more to the right. We were getting spikes in here earlier. There was nothing. Earlier in the live stream we were getting spikes and now we're not. It's odd. We did shut off all the power. Yeah. If you used to work here, can you make that light up? If there's anyone here with us, can you make that light up? And get a picture of it spiking. Oh. I'm recording now. That sounded like a switch. Yeah, it sounded like metal tapping, kind of. You're recording, right? Mm -hmm. If you're here, can you make that light up twice for us again?
Is anyone here tonight to uh, give us a ticket for the train? If so, you could touch this light for us and make the light light up. There's someone in here with us. Can you touch this light and make it light up? I'm going with the original speaker that this SB7 came with tonight. I feel like the other one, even though it's louder, it's just um, almost too loud. This one's a little quieter, but... If there's someone here with us this evening who can speak into the speaker, we'll be able to communicate with you. Would you like to tell us your name? Did you used to work at this train depot? Is there anyone in here with us? Can you tell us what your name is? I don't know, I was just thinking that. Yeah, it's coming from that way. It's not a radio station. It sounds like it said stay. Stay or stay? I would say. I don't know. It's ten oh six.
was trying to figure out where that was coming from, but it's like it got quieter back there. No, but there was like music going. Yeah, I think it's outside. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out where it was coming from. Hopefully that's all. Upstairs. Yeah. All right, guys, now we're going to go upstairs. We do have a train outside moving and backing up and stuff, so that could cause some noise interference. But we're going to try this out anyway. It is a bit cooler up here. Upstairs in the conductor room. That is the train pulling into the station. We're switching tracks. Is there anybody with us tonight? It was like, it wasn't even like footsteps, it just sounded like something like... That? No. That's it was like some, it was some kind of movement. Do you hear something? You don't hear that? No. Like a light movement. I don't know if I picked that up. Maybe the camera got it. Maybe. Are you making noise for us tonight? <laughs> That's scary too. That was a train. <laughs> Trains at the train depot? Who would have thunk? <laughs> you can speak into this little black box and we'll be able to hear you. so much interference from outside. Yeah. Well, EMF is not going off as much as it was. So a lot of that might have been electricity. Possible. Hmm? I didn't say anything. As much as it was. 
So a lot of that might have been electricity. Possible. I didn't say anything. As much as it was. So a lot of that might have been electricity. Possible. I didn't say anything. I heard you say something. I did not. I'm not sure what this room was used for initially, but we got a safe over there. Down. Okay. Try to do a spirit box session in here. Is there anybody in here with us that would like to speak to us tonight? If there is, you can speak into this uh, speaker. Are you making the light go off? If you used to live here in Globe, can you make that light flash twice? If you didn't live in Globe, can you make that light flash twice, please? Thank you. It's weird that it lit up the twice, didn't it? It did, yeah. It was kind of it. Yeah, it was kind of faint, but They're it still faint. did it. And that's for no reason. Now it stopped. No, oh, never mind. I'm sorry, maybe it's not for no reason. It is for a reason. Are you trying to speak to us? Make that light up once, please. If you're a man, can you make that light light up twice? You can walk through the spirit box, pray head back downstairs into the next building. So yeah. let's just walk through with it. See if you get anything to come through. Really old books. Yeah. There's a spider. Okay, we'll go downstairs.
I'll oh, just try here first. With me. Is anybody on these stairs with us tonight? Let's go. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. What was that? I don't know. No, it was just kind of a weird noise. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to pull a prank on us? It's hard to tell if there's light I saw here. It's hard to tell if there's light I saw here. Did you get the shows? The back of my head, yeah. I, I thought I saw something go from the bottom of the stairs up. Just now? Like when I said it, when I said I thought there was light there, or I couldn't tell if it was light or what. Yeah, I felt something in the back of my head that like gave me shivers. <laughs> You can speak to us in the speaker if you're with us. All right, we're going next door now. This building is right beside the train depot. Depot's behind us. Um, I believe this building was used as um, like UPS of sorts, where uh, packages were held and you could pick them up. Yeah, 1959. That might have been the last year it was in service. That's scary too. <laughs> Huh? There's tin foil in my pocket scraping. Just Mode. 
there's someone here that would like to speak to us, you can speak into the speaker in my hand. You can speak with us and interact. Thank you. Do you live in this building? You can make this flash once if you do. First off, we'd like to thank Molly for letting us investigate this location. We will leave the contact info below in case you or anyone else you know may want to explore the train depot for yourself. As far as how haunted I felt this place was, um, while we were investigating, it kind of felt like we didn't capture a lot of evidence, but when you know we go back and we edit the footage, it seems like there was something going on there. I started to rate these locations from zero to 100% and the rating I would probably give the train depot is 56%. It did feel like there was a presence there, maybe even multiple presences. We did catch some voices, it seemed like, faint responses, and some noises that we just couldn't debunk. We also want to give a shout out to AJ. Uh, thank you for becoming a patron. If you would like to become a patron, we'll leave the link below. For $3 a month, uh, you support our channel. We post exclusive content on that website from pictures to videos, uh, just updates, and you also get a nice little welcome package for signing up. Thank you for watching. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. It would help out a ton. We'll see you next time on Rem Investigations.